Right guys, once again I've been stopped from making a video about the Dominic Cummins, Boris Johnson and Carrie Simmons situation by something I just had to cover first. This is obviously in relation to the SNP announcing pubs would reopen indoors but with no alcohol served and an 8pm curfew, which has to be even more demented than the scotch egg and 10pm closing time lunacy used by the government last year, which as a matter of fact even the media ridiculed many times. Now obviously they will claim that they are following the science and all this nonsense, but what science that might be is anyone's guess, because it makes no sense in my mind any way you try to swing it. Clearly though, this is an attempt at bribing voters on saying, look, we are letting you do more things you have the right to do anyway quicker than the Tories, so vote for us next month. Of course, this is misguided since Scottish voters are not going to be happy with this bullshit, but I would say it proves once again they're just taking the piss out of us. This should really backfire on them massively, not only because the Scots love a beer or two, but because it's clearly bullshit based on their agenda and not on any science you could actually point to. On the upside though, I guess it should give the other parties an easy attack line pulling this apart and pubs up there could actually take them to court because it makes no sense and is not proportionate in the slightest. It's literally like saying, open up restaurants but they can't serve food and must close by 4pm or something like that. Shit, you could even say it's like saying gyms could open but no one's allowed to exercise in there and it must close early or can only open for an hour. It's batshit crazy on literally every level. And from what I can tell, they're already getting destroyed online for it at this point. But in all honesty, should we really be surprised? This is, after all, a so-called nationalist party that wants independence from the UK to become the vassal state of the EU, despite the fact that the EU actually doesn't want them for various reasons, Catalonia being one of them, which means Spain would veto it 100%. And that's before you get into their piss-poor budget deficit and everything like that. Though like I said, nothing should surprise us with these complete dipshits at the end of the day, but it's still funny every time I see them tell Boris Johnson to hold their beer when it comes to being a deluded bunch of fuck pigs. Only Nicola Sturgeon and the Scots Nat Pratts could go one up on Boris Johnson, who as you know is a complete and utter fucking clown. Now this is also on top of her telling the English not to come to Scotland and go to the pub up there after the rules changed to avoid Boris Johnson's lunacy, despite that being unlawful discrimination and just bang out of order. The top QC in Scotland actually came out to say that after she did the complete and utter fucking idiot. This shows though they are really the lunatics running the asylum up there, ain't they? Batshit crazy doesn't even begin to describe it. 